What's going on fellow gamers? Cast Eclipse here. Today we're back on No Man's Sky and I wanted to talk about our storage containers here. Um, you want to load them up with stuff, obviously. Um, so in one of the previous videos I went over your raw materials and how to find them. If you guys want to know about that, make sure you guys go and watch the, um, the channel, sorry not channel, the video for that. Um, I will hopefully remember to put it down in the comment section, or not the comment section, the description. If I don't, call me out on that and I will make sure it gets in there. Um, so we were also going over before on things that you should duplicate. Um, I did a previous video on this, which is I believe posted yesterday. Um, and we went over the cargo bulkhead. Today we're actually going to go over two items. We're going to go over the Starship AI valves, which is the most expensive item in the game currently. Um, in your regular inventory, they only stack five, so as you can see, one stack sells for 250 million. You cannot make these. There's only two ways to get these that I'm aware of. Um, one of the ways is just by sitting in the um, anomaly. Um, a lot of people duplicate these and they sell them for units, so if you sit there long enough, someone will come by and usually give you some. If you don't want to wait for that, because it can take a while depending on who's popping in and out of your anomaly, um, so it is a chance that you may actually take a while to get those. The other way is still pretty expensive, um, and it can actually cost you quite a bit. So I'm actually under my 2.4 billion right now, and it's because I was doing what you guys may need to do, or if you're lucky enough, you may not have spent any money at all. So let me explain this. Um, before I go into it with the uh, with the ship AI valves, the other item I don't have. So we're actually going to find out if this is going to work today. Um, the other one is Starship cargo uh, augmentations, storage augmentations. So it's just like this one for the freighter, except it's specifically for your Starship. I don't have any. Most of my ships, I believe, are maxed out. I may actually have some on my other ships now that I think about it. Um, because I have been moving around ships and everything, so let me go and check that real quick. I don't think I do. Um, I don't think a lot of these ships are even upgraded, but you always want to keep extras just in case, um, because it can actually help out with, um, if you guys are switching ships a lot, if you guys want a different type of ship or anything like that, you guys can definitely come in here and max out your different ships. I'm just looking through the ship inventories. I don't think I have anything in any of these. Which if not, that's fine. That's why we're testing this out today. Um, I do believe it works, but that is why we're doing it. So that I can show you guys exactly how to do it. So we don't have any in there. So we're actually going to come over here and I, I, I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of you love these ships. I hate haulers. But we're actually going to need a hauler for this one. Um, you don't have to own it the way I do, unless you're going to do it the way I'm doing it. So first of all, we're going to jump in here and we're going to head over to the space station. So the space station, I went the wrong way. It is on our left side. Here's our space station. Let's go ahead and head inside real quick. I would also like to thank all of the new subscribers. We're like right at the edge of a thousand subscribers I believe the last time I looked it's 972 you guys have been amazing um, I was stuck at like 200 for the longest time and within like these last month and a half maybe two months it has just exploded I don't know if you guys are sharing the videos if one just took off um, I mean that that did happen one of the videos just kind of took off but I don't know if you guys are sharing the videos more or what, but thank you guys so much to all the new subscribers out there. If you are sharing the videos, thank you as well. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So you want to look for a hauler. So this is a hauler right here, I believe. Uh, ooh, that's an explorer. Okay. It might work with an explorer. Ooh, so is that one. Do I not have a hauler? I could have swore this was a hauler. I hope this works then. Um, so I heard it works with a hauler. I thought these ships were haulers So I may have screwed myself up and the reason why I say that if you look at my ship my ships value right now is 107 million um, I upgraded it to an S class. It has 48 of the inventory slots. It has 21 of the um, 
what are they called the uh, technology slots here and then I did not max out this because it got really expensive and it was 300,000 or sorry 300 million per slot and it would literally be all of these so I think it would be another 48 in the cargo so it got really expensive I got tired of duplicating and I just didn't want to do it anymore to be honest with you but with that being said I do believe a hauler works best at the same time any ship as far as I know that is over 50 million is how we're gonna do this so just scan around guys like that fighter right there that's only 13 million so it won't work um, I do believe you can get a shuttle for that high like a lot of these ships you can actually get for for really high uh, prices the ship does have to be over 50 million that's five zero million I'm not saying 15 so make sure that you guys are getting the right one there's a hauler I believe that's the type of ship that you need I always thought those were shuttles that's interesting I thought these were haulers anyway so you need a uh, hauler that is over 50 million as you can see these ones are really low class right now but we're gonna go ahead and try it with our s-class explorer here and see if this works so you're gonna come into the space station and we're gonna head over to our scrap over here and we're gonna scrap this ship now the two things we should get out of this one being the um, ship AI valves which as you guys can see I have none currently on me right now um, I did put a whole bunch in the freighter I think I showed you guys that so I have a really short-term memory there are tons in the freighter though um, I just can't see them from here which is perfectly fine because that means you guys can't see any of them so you guys can't see that they're even on me at all because they aren't um, and then the storage is the other thing you want to buy as much storage as possible do not quote me on this but I do believe that it comes with the technology storage so I believe the main thing you want to max out is that technology storage so when it's over 50 million that is how you're gonna get your ship AI valves the more storage you have will give you better chances of getting the starship storage modules augmentations whatever you want to call them so literally what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here we're just gonna open this up and we're gonna see what we're gonna get here this is gonna be hit or miss guys this is why it's so expensive to do this though so we're gonna scrap it the scrap is only worth 75 million but that is still over 50 million so we're gonna go ahead and try it and see what we can get from this so we're gonna hit scrap yes we do want to scrap it and let's see what we got guys it'll start popping up on the right side as soon as I exit this uh, dialogue here so we got hyperdrives living glass oh there went some ship AI valves and I'm not seeing any storage augmentations though did not see any storage augmentations so let's see what we got here we have the ship uh, starship AI valves that is what we were looking for at least one of the items um, we also have compressed indium um, subatomic uh, what is that subatomic reg regulators uh, recycled circuitry we have spool of nano cables thermal panels reinforced piping hall of cogs Oh, we did get one. There you go, guys. A Starship storage augmentation. So let's move this over here. And here are our ship AI valves. And then we also got these two, which doesn't matter. These are just S-Class things that you can add to your current Starship now if you guys want to hang on to them. If not, feel free to sell them for nanites just to get nanites back. But he, here's the two items we were looking for. So as you guys can see, it does work even with that class of ship as long as it is over the 50 million. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take advantage of this. We're going to fly back to our freighter here and we are going to do some of the um, Starship, uh, what's it called? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Starship storage augmentations. And as you guys can see in there, it does say you can also get them from freighter crash sites or you can salvage them during frigate expeditions. But the way I did it is probably the easiest way. It's not the best method because it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. But once again, as I said in the previous video, if you guys have been duplicating with me, if you're duplicating on your own, obviously, you guys are going to have these items. If for whatever reason you're struggling with this or you're just too lazy, you don't have the time, whatever, let me know. I'm going to start stacking up on a lot of these items. So we ended up with 50 of the um, freighter 
uh, augmentations last time. I'm going to go ahead and dupe um, a whole bunch more of these Starship AI valves. I actually gave a couple of these out to a few people that uh, were either new to the game or they just couldn't get the duplication down. Um, if you guys are in that same boat, let me know down in the comment section. Just put your um, your friend... What is it? Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Talk about a uh, blonde moment. No offense to any blondes out there. It is your No Man's Sky friend code. There we go. Okay, so we are going to come in here. We're going to go ahead and throw our Starship AI valve in there just because we have a whole bunch anyway. And then the rest of the stuff, if you guys want, you can sell or you can just um, hold on to them if you want. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and sell all of those items real quick. So we do have this galactic thing here in our ship. We're going to go to sell and we're going to sell uh, this, 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 um, compressed indium scraps, subatomic regulators, this, this. Do not sell that. And that looks like it. So did we get it all? We sure did. And then from here, we're going to start duplicating these, and I will have a ton of these left, guys. So um, once again, if you guys need any of them, let me know down in the comments section. Um, if you guys uh, are in the process of trying to get them yourselves and you're having a hard time, ask away down in the comments section as well. Either myself or someone who is uh, active on the channel and a active um, viewer, more than likely they will answer you. For those of you that have been answering people, I want to say thank you very much. Um, I do work odd hours sometimes. Uh, hopefully all that's going to be situated and I can start doing live stream again. I know I've been saying for a while that I'm going to come up with a schedule and everything and I just haven't done it yet. I've just been extremely busy guys. I promise I'm not trying to uh, get away from any of this. Um, but yeah, so once again, if you guys have any questions, any problems, put it down in the comment section. Either myself or another person here in our community will answer you guys. So put it down there. And um, if you guys do want any items dropped off to you, you can also put your friend code down in there. Um, it's going to be very sporadic as to when I can do it, though. So I don't know if you want your friend code down in there all the time because I don't know if you want a whole bunch of random people adding you. If anything, you can message me on the, um, down in the, well, not message me, but you can put a comment down in the comment section and you can just, hey, you can just ask, hey, are you on right now? And if I'm available, I will actually say yes. If not, because I also check my, uh, my channel while I'm at work, guys, I do it through my phone. So I may answer you and just be like, hey, it's not going to be till around this time when I'm on. Let me know what you need. Put it down in the comments section. Um, like I said, if you want, you can put your friend code down there right away. If not, just go ahead and wait until I can actually be online and then give me your friend code down in the comments section. Delete it once I join your game. That way you guys don't have a whole bunch of random people adding you. And we can go from there. Just make sure that you guys actually put what you guys are are looking for as to hey can you drop me off some storage augmentations can you give me some walker brains anything that you guys see that i already have um there may be items that i don't have and i will let you know hey i'm still working on that i don't have any yet but i'm going to try to get as many of these items as i can that way we can all share with each other and you guys aren't having any rough starts or anything like that if you guys are doing new saves or anything um if you guys are willing to help each other out, that is fine as well. Just make sure that you are able to do so. Uh, what I mean by that is make sure that you guys actually have um, the 16 glyphs. If you don't have the 16 glyphs, you're probably not going to be able to meet up with people or anything. Um, actually, I guess you don't even need the glyphs anymore because you don't have to use the portals. Um, you can just add their friend code if they're willing to let you and you can just join their game, drop off the items. Just make sure that you're going into your game before joining theirs and make sure that those items that they're looking for are either on your person or on your starship because if not, you won't be able to drop off those items. So once again, if I have any questions or you guys have any questions or anything like that, um, let me know down in the comment section and I wish you guys the best in your travels. If you guys have any weird 
animals you guys are doing, um, like that you guys are making into companions or anything like that, uh, let me know down in the comment section. If you guys remember or not, I actually found um, an actual looking sea turtle. And I will eventually make my way back there and try to tame one of those bad guys. Um, not that they're bad, but uh, it was just, it was really unique because I hadn't really seen too much that was, that looked normal, so to speak. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Once again, thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, thank you for almost hitting 1,000 once we do get there. Um, I may have something in store for you guys. It all depends on my schedule and everything like that. But just let me know down in the comment section anything you guys are concerned about or anything. And I will see you guys in the next video.